The Minotaur from Monsters of the Multiverse. Minotaurs are barrel-chested humanoids with heads resembling those of bulls. Blessed with a supernaturally strong sense of direction, Minotaurs make great navigators. Some sages believe Minotaurs were first created by the Lady of Pain to patrol the magical mazes that she uses to trap her foes. Minotaur horns range in size from about one foot long to easily three times that length. Minotaurs often carve their horns to sharpen their edges, etch symbols of power into them, or sheathe them in bronze to prevent them from shattering during battle. Thick hair extends down minotaurs' necks and powerful backs, and some have long patches of hair on their chins and cheeks. Their legs end in heavy cloven hooves, and they have long tuft tails. As a minotaur, we get the following traits. We are a humanoid, we are medium, walking speed of 30 feet. We have horns that we can use as an unarmed strike. It deals a d6 plus our strength uh, piercing damage. We also get Goring Rush. Immediately after you take the dash action on your turn and you move at least 20 feet, you can make one melee attack with your horns as a bonus action. We also get Hammering Horns. Immediately after you hit a creature with a melee attack, as part of the attack action on your turn, you can use a bonus action to attempt to push the target with your horns. The target must be within five feet of you and no more than one size larger than you. Unless it succeeds on a strength saving throw against your DC equal to eight plus your proficiency bonus plus your strength modifier, you can push up to 10 feet away from you. And finally, we have Labyrinthian Recall. You always know which direction is north and you have advantage on any wisdom survival check you make to navigate or track. Minotaur are hard geared towards strength based marshals. Marshals are gonna be the ones who want to use their dash attack to get up close to take advantage of your goring rush. Hammering horns can either be just this nice added bonus after an attack if you wanna knock someone away, or it can be core to your build. If you take the crusher feet, when you hit with an attack, you can move them five feet in any direction, including directly up. So you kinda of hit them with a sledgehammer, you give them an uppercut, they get knocked five feet in the air, and then you can immediately use your push attack to knock them 10 feet away from you, which is now at an upward angle, so you can knock them in the air and then they fall, so they get knocked prone, and they take a little bit of extra damage. And I think that's really peak Minotaur. I think that's where Minotaur is going to be the strongest is when you're doing a crusher build. Otherwise, we're genuinely not getting much out of the Minotaur. It doesn't give us a ton of things. The bonus action attack is nice, not game changing. The Labyrinthian recall is nice, not game changing. And hammering horns, unless you specifically build your build around it, is nice, but not game changing. So there's going to be almost every other race is going to be stronger than Minotaur unless we specifically build around its features. So I feel like it's very niche and if I were to rank its power level, it'd be on the lower end. Not to say I don't like them, and I think the niche builds they create are pretty interesting and cool. But that's just me. I'm talking about the Minotaur as if it doesn't have a lot of cool builds. I want you to prove me wrong. Leave me some cool builds in the comments down below. Now we're doing all sorts of flavor builds, so if you want to see more, check them out here. But other than that, I just hope you have yourselves a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next one. Later!